Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Super Tech So. In my channel, you will be learning some new skills from Malay language and English language. Without wasting much time, let's go! Hi boys and girls, today we are going to write an essay about a kind-hearted boy. I guess every one of us, we had done good deeds before, okay? So, if you see anyone needs help, yes, we can lend them a helping hand. Don't worry to do so. Try to be kind to everyone around us so that everybody will be happy. Everybody will be brightened up, right? So, let's go to write the essay. First of all, as usual, you have to look at the instruction given. Write a story based on the picture below. You may use the words given to help you write your story in the space provided. So no matter how many times you have done your essay, still you have to read the instruction given. Who knows one day in the future, there is a different word okay, in the sentence that you used to read. Okay, if you do not notice the differences, okay, you may make a big problem and you may give the wrong answer. So, don't feel hassle to read the instruction again and again before you start writing, right? So, now let's look at some new words that we must learn related to the topic today. Okay, so when I give you the picture, you try to guess the name of that item, right? So what do you call this? Yes, traffic lights, right? So there are three lights there, so we name it as traffic lights. Next, what is this? Yes, a zebra crossing. It is a zebra crossing. Okay, what do you call this? Yes, so especially the elderly. Okay, um, when they are not that strong, they are not that um, balanced, okay, while walking, they need to use this, okay. Now, um, when you get old, many health problems will evolve, so this is one of the ways to help yourself, okay, you can get a walking stick to help you while walking, okay, to balance yourself so that you don't fall. Okay, we call it as a walking stick, right? So, what do you call this? Yes, it's an overhead bridge, an overhead bridge. And the last one, what do you call this? Yes, it is a crossroads. It is a crossroads. So, now, uh, some of you may ask me, teacher, why uh, there's a, an article a, but you have an S behind or at the end of the word. Now, crossroads, it is made up of more than one road. So, crossroads itself is a word, okay, to represent this kind of road, okay, in the intersection of two roads. So, when it's a pair like this, we'll call it as a crossroads. Okay, crossroad must be a cross. Okay, they must be crossed. Then only you can call it as crossroads. And there is only one, one intersection. So we will name it as a crossroads, right? Okay, okay. Let's look at the picture given. Okay, how many characters are there? Two. There's a boy and an old lady. Where are they? What are they doing at that time? So you must be able to comprehend the picture first before you start writing your essay okay you must know the setting well the place and what incident happens in the picture okay you must clarify everything first okay before you plan your notes okay so as you can see okay they are crossing a road on a zebra crossing okay why why there is a boy and an old lady? Who is the old lady to the boy? And who is the boy to the old lady? Do they know each other? Okay, you must be able to answer all these uh, questions. Okay, so that you can write clearly. Alright, so let's look at the words given. Okay, very important. Okay, the first word, feel. Okay, can you see any feel there? No, you cannot. You cannot see any feel there. But the first word given is feel. 
Okay, who is going to the field? You don't know, right? Okay, the second word, okay, the second phrase, old woman. Okay, old woman, you know. Okay, this character is an old woman. Cross, busy road. Okay, the busy here, it refers to the busy road. Difficult, yes. Who finds difficult to cross the road? Whether boy or the old lady, the old woman. Okay, help. Traffic slow down. The traffic slow down. Zebra crossing. Reach. Thank. Good it. Okay. So, I think the ideas had have come to your mind. Okay, you know that the boy is a main character. Okay, the boy helped the old woman to cross the road, to cross the busy road using a zebra crossing. Okay, then the old woman thank the boy for his good deed. So there is the whole idea of your essay. Can you do it? Yes. If you have understood and you know the storyline, then you can start to plan your notes, right? So let us look at the notes given. Okay, uh, it's written by me, but if you think that the notes that I give you, okay, are not really good, you can alter it anytime where you like right so let's get the first sentence lovely evening okay now i will always start my uh, story with it was a lovely morning it was a lovely evening anything you like anytime you like okay so it was a lovely evening so we are going to name the boy yes ryan was walking to a field in the neighborhood neighborhood for his football practice okay so it was a lovely evening ryan was walking to a field in the neighborhood for his football practice okay it means ryan is now walking to the field okay to play football okay or to attend his football practice and then what happened on the way he saw an old lady who was trying to cross the busy road yes now Take note here, remember you cannot write out of the blue, you saw an old woman. Okay, if you can suddenly see someone appear in front of you, I'm sure that is a ghost. Okay, that is not a human being. So, be aware of the usage of out of the blue. Don't simply use out of the blue in your essay, right? If it happens unexpectedly and out of a sudden, then only you can use out of the blue, right? Remember that. So on the way, he saw an old lady who was trying to cross the busy road. Then what happened next? Many cars, okay, many cars were passing by non-stop. Yes, the vehicles on the road, they are moving non-stop. And it was difficult for her to cross the road. Yes, there were too many cars passing by. So the old lady was difficult to cross the road. And then what happened next? It seemed that she was scared to step forward. It seemed that it means at that time, the old lady had a hard time to step forward, even one step, okay? She was trying to, but she found that it was so scary, okay, for her to step forward, even one step. So, what should Ryan do? How should Ryan feel? Yes, Ryan felt sorry for her. Okay, now what is the meaning of felt sorry? It means sympathize, okay, or took pity. When you felt sorry for someone, okay, you may feel sad, you may feel, um, what do you call, um, you feel like that person is helpless, okay, you want to help him or her, okay, that is the feeling, right? And then let's get the second paragraph. Ryan felt sorry at that time, and then what should he do? Yes, okay, without hesitation, Ryan ran toward the old lady, the old woman, to lend her a helping hand. Yes, without hesitation, Ryan ran toward the old woman to lend her a helping hand. Okay, he offered to help her to cross the road. Offered help means, okay, she, uh, he told the old lady, Hi, Granny. Now I am here to help you to cross the road. That's what we call it as offered help, right? So he offered to help 
her to cross the road. Okay, he offered to help her to cross the busy road. Then, the old woman was surprised to see Ryan and she nodded as she welcomed his help. Yes, I need your help. Okay, so the old lady was surprised to see Ryan and she nodded. Nodded means yes, you nod your head. And she nodded as she welcomed his help. Okay, what is next? Soon, the traffic began to slow down. So here you don't have to uh, tell, you don't have to explain Ryan went to uh, touch on uh, the button and then the traffic lights went uh, red for the car and the traffic lights uh, went green for them to cross the road. No need. Okay, you just mentioned that soon the traffic began to slow down. Okay, it means all the vehicles, they have to stop. They had to come to a halt, right? And then, Ryan, or he held her hand tightly. So, they were holding hands. Okay, Ryan held her hand tightly. And then, what happened? Yes, they should walk across the road. Okay, Ryan held her tightly. Ryan held her hand tightly while walking slowly across the road using the zebra crossing. Can you understand this? Ryan held her hand tightly while walking slowly across the road using the zebra crossing. It means we um, through the whole process of crossing the road, they were holding hands. Can you understand that? So it's good. Why? Because the old lady was walking with a walking stick. Okay, maybe she could not balance herself while walking. So this is a correct action where Ryan was holding her hand tightly while walking. Can you understand? Okay, next, the third paragraph. Okay, not long after they reached the other side of the road, safely. Okay, they reached the other side of the road safely. Then, the old woman thanked Ryan profusely. Okay, it means thank Ryan again and again. Okay, Ryan was on cloud nine. On cloud nine means happy. Ryan was on cloud nine because he had done a good deed. Okay, this is the ending. So, now, after this uh, short ending, what should you write? Yes, as I said before, as I mentioned before, when you end your essay, remember, you can write about your hope, you can write about your feeling, okay, and you can write about the lesson you learned in the story, okay? So, here, I suggest you to write hope. Ryan hope that the public, it means everyone in the society, Ryan hoped that the public would care for the elderly. Everybody should care for the elderly and help them when they are in need. So, you know, all these elderly, all these um, senior citizens, they need our help no matter where they are. Okay, when they are in a bus, okay, when they are at a public place, okay, while they are walking on the road, on the street, they may need our help. Okay, if possible, okay, we try to care them more and help them when they need. Okay, that's the lesson, the moral value of the story. All right, so that's all for today. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm Mr. Saw. So. That's all for today. Bye. If you like my channel after watching my videos, don't forget to subscribe and like my video. That's all for today. Bye!